What is going on guys? We have so much to do in this video, so let's not waste any time. Let me just show you what we gotta do. So what we're gonna do is ditch the stock airbox. We're gonna make an intake. We're going to ditch the stock blow off valve. We have an HKS one. We're gonna mount somewhere on this pipe. And we are also finally going to hook up the catch can so we can get rid of these, get block this off, get rid of this pipe, and just clean the bay up a little bit. So we got all the intercooler piping and everything out of the way. So now we're going to pull these out and put the press in AN fitting ones. And then we're gonna have to wait to do the lines for the catch can until we get the top intake pipe back in. This is the port that connects to the breather that we're gonna have the catch can go to. So I need to block this off because this is a one-way valve so it, it lets air get sucked in but not go out. The thread of it is one quarter NPT and I couldn't find any one quarter NPT bolts. I don't have enough time to order one so I'm just going to end up cutting this off and then I'm gonna weld to fill in the hole and we'll see how that works out. But right here we have the top intercooler pipe right where the throttle body is and we took off the stock blow off valve and I made this little block off plate for it because we're gonna end up throwing our blow off valve on one of the intercooler pipes. This is the blow off valve that we're going to use. One way to tell if they're real HKS or not is this HKS should be reflective. That means it's real so if you find one that doesn't have the reflective it's more than likely not real. This appears to be the only way that I can have the catch can lines routed without it looking really stupid. It's gonna look dumb. I'm already not too happy about it. It is what it is and hopefully this works out. I already marked out how long the line is so I have enough. Both of these are going to go down under the intake, back towards the firewall, and then sneak around behind the motor and then up into the catch can. I have to do that because I can't have them turn back enough to where I can tuck them under the throttle body. So that's what sucks about having this style manifold, the stock one where it goes over. One day we're going to go to front facing but not anytime soon. I really don't like putting these AN fittings on because it's just a pain in the ass, but they look really good and they're not gonna leak. So even though they're a pain in the ass, they definitely make up for it. But we have both of our lines done, so now we can throw it on the car and see how it looks. So the lines are now hooked up. I'm not the biggest fan of how I did it, but this is the best idea I have right now. So yeah, we got both of them going under the intake manifold, behind the motor, and then into our catch can. So the catch can's now complete. The plan is to just get a bunch of pie cuts cut because I need to do a sharp 90. So I'm gonna get a bunch of pie cuts cut and then tack them together and see how they fit. But here's the stock intake stuff. I'm gonna keep it, but I'm not going to be throwing it back on because I wanted to ditch these two because this small one is what was going up to the crankcase vent. 
and this one was going to the blow off valve and since we're going to be doing our blow off valve to atmosphere we don't need it to recirculate back into the intake and because we're doing the catch can not recirculating we don't need this pipe either so we're just going to ditch this completely and i have this three inch stainless steel pipe that we're going to be making the intake out of and we're going to do pie cut so it looks cool i've never welded polished stainless before so we'll see how that goes so it takes a really long time to get all these pie cuts cut and i'm just going to cut a bunch so i can figure out the way that i want to orient them later so while i'm waiting for all of that i've decided that i want to install the blow off valve and i was originally going to do it on the pipe that goes up to the throttle body but i changed my mind and i'm going to be putting it right here i don't really want to put it on this pipe i was thinking about maybe putting it on this side but then that takes up all that room so that would put the blow off valve like this and it kind of tucks it away but it's also pretty easy to see so i like that and we still have plenty of room to get our intake pipe then so i think that's what i'm going to end up doing so i already marked out the hole on there so now we just got to take a hole saw to it so i have some bad news i don't have a coupler that will fit the math on this side so even though i can make the adapter to have the filter work i don't have a coupler big enough to go from here onto the actual intake pipe so what i'm gonna have to do is reuse this stock pipe and just block off these two holes I already have this one blocked off and i'm making a plug for this one so that really sucks but we are going to get the blow off valve installed so at least we'll get the catch can and blow off valve set up All right, guys, we got everything back on. We got our nice blow off valve. The catch can lines, although they look kind of weird, it's kind of growing on me, but I still would much rather have it just straight back and over. But anyways, now's the moment of truth. We're gonna start the car up, make sure it still runs right, and then we're gonna go for a drive. Yeah, everything seems normal. In here, everything looks good. Oil pressure's good. Got our vacuums good. Just let it warm up and then we'll go for a drive. But so far, everything seems like it's good. That blow off valve looks so good. It just pops because everything in that area is black. I can't wait to hear how it sounds. So the car's warmed up now. I just want to give it a few revs and we'll watch the blow off valve, make sure that it's opening. Okay, it's safe to say that it's opening and I can actually hear it. All right, guys, we're going to do just a short pull. <laughs> well, the blow valve is definitely working. There's like a hint of flutter, there's not a lot. Probably once I get the intake set up, we'll get a little bit of flutter, but I'm loving the blow off valve. So I don't know about you guys, but I am in love with how the blow off valve sounds. I had the same one on my 240 and it's, I don't know, I just like it a lot. I know there's people that don't like blow off valves, especially the people that I've met that are from like Australia and New Zealand. They like to just run no blow off valve and have a really huge intake. So you get that really big flutter noise, which don't get me wrong, that sounds cool too. And I like that as well. But there's something about the blow off valve that I like a lot. I'm really glad that we got the catch can set up too. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the intake set up, but we're gonna hopefully get that done soon. But that is going to be it for this video thank you so much for watching please check out some of my other videos and i'll see you guys next time peace